share with you my Peppa Pig design. I originally made another video and since then I figured it was easier to make it with a heart body. I'm also going to share a link to my old video at the end of this one just in case you want to watch that one. But this is um, the one I'm really excited to share with you. It's uh, two hearts and two pink 260s. So let's get started. For this, you will need one pink heart and one red heart. This one uses Qualitex hearts, but I'm going to use one metallic heart for the nose, for the, the head and the nose, and I'm going to use one Qualitex heart for the body. We also need two pink 260s. Start by inflating your pink heart out a little bit closer to the tip, not the whole way, but just out so there's about like one finger that's not inflated, and then make a knot. You want it to be pretty mushy because we're gonna twist the lobe here and twist the lobe of this side of the heart too. And then take your red heart and you want to tie that down about like one finger underneath if it's a Qualitex balloon, maybe two fingers under if it's a metallic balloon and you want it pretty mushy. See how mushy this is? So we just want it to kind of fit in our hands like this. So you have these and then you're going to set those aside and then take one of your pink 260s and inflate that with a five finger tail. Let's start with Peppa's hands. Twist off a cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist it. Spin it around, it's about one finger wide, maybe a little bit, little bit wider than a finger. It's about a one inch bubble. Twist that off, hold it here, Pull the knot up and turn it. Keep pulling on this knot while you turn the first pinch twist. Make another cherry tomato size bubble, pull that up and pinch twist it. And then make your third one. Right like that. Now measure down five fingers. And if this balloon's getting tight, squeeze it out a little bit to make the air go towards the tail. Measure down five fingers, right like that, and make another cherry tomato size bubble, and we're gonna pinch twist that. And since that's not in the end, fold it down like this, hold it together, pick this up and turn it. Right like that. And now measure another five fingers down, twist it off, and make three cherry tomato size bubbles. Pinch twist them. Now we have Peppa's arms and hands. Now for the rest of this, we're going to make Peppa's ears. So right down about right here, about two fingers or three fingers away from the last pinch twist, you're going to pop and tie that off. If you can't pop and tie yet, Squeeze the air out, kind of turn it in a circle. Hold on to it. See how the air is out of it right there? And just pull the scissors up and cut it. <laughs> it did fling away, but sometimes it doesn't. Then pick up that knot right here, and you're gonna tie a little knot and pull it through and then wrap it around right like that. Now pick up the remaining part of the balloon and you're going to inflate it all but a one finger tail. Leave it a little bit on the mushy side. Tie that off. Squeeze it back down towards the knot if you need to. Twist 
twist off a cherry tomato sized bubble. Pinch twist it, pull the knot tight and spin it around. And then squeeze this up a little bit, grab the end and wrap it around the pinch twist and then tie those together. Now take this, it should be a little bit mushy, bend it in half and twist it. Those are Peppa's ears. Let's pick up your pink heart. And this is gonna be Peppa's nose, right where the knot is. So take one of these upper lobes and you're gonna hold it with your hand like this. Squeeze it a little bit and turn one of the lobes. If you don't feel like you have enough air in there, you can uh, squeeze, like, let me show you. You can squeeze this down. You don't want like Peppa's nose to be a mile long, just a little bit long. So you can hold it right here so the air doesn't go out and kind of turn it around. Right like that. It looks weird right now, but it'll work once we twist the other part. Pick up the ears. Wrap this bubble around. Now it's important while you're doing it to try not to leave go of the lobe of the heart once you have it twisted because sometimes that will weaken the balloon when you pick it back up and it will pop. Just to let you know. Now what we need to do is put on Peppa's arms. To do that, you're going to twist the bottom part of the lobe. You're going to hold Peppa's nose back a little bit and twist off a bubble. Don't leave go because it weakens the balloon and it might pop. So hold on tight. Pick up Peppa's arms. Hold this bubble next to this bubble, next to the pinch twist in the middle. Kind of lay it on there. Wrap your fingers up like this. See how I have both those bubbles? And turn them together. Figure out which way you want Peppa's head to go and put that little ball bubble in the front. Now take your red heart and we're going to wrap it right under there. No need to tie it. Just stretch the knot and kind of wrap it around. Right like that. Now let's add Peppa's feet and her tail. Take a five finger pink bubble on your next 260. Inflate it and you're going to make sure it's just a little bit mushy and then tie it. So if, if it's real tight you just want to like tie this knot down a little bit so it's not like super tight. And then cut off right up above the knot. So you need one side to wrap in to Peppa's body with a little piece. And the other one you can cut off. This is the bottom of the foot. Let's do that again. Here are Peppa's feet. What you want to do is twist off a little tiny bubble about a finger wide, a little cherry tomato sized bubble, or maybe a grape tomato. And then pick up Peppa, squeeze one of the lobes down. Turn it. See how I'm holding the air in here? I'm kind of squeezing the air over towards the other lobe. So I have another matching bubble. And I'm going to twist that around. Twist it around good so it doesn't come undone. The red one I like to put in the front. Take this little piece of pink one and we'll pinch twist it just by holding on to the bubble and pulling the knot tight and wrapping it around up and around, right like that. Take Peppa's last leg and foot and do the same thing. I'm trying to match this red bubble to that red bubble so it looks good. Wrap it around. We just do the same thing. Now fix Peppa's legs to where you want them. I think they look good like that. 
Now you can put on an optional tail. Inflate the last part of your 260 the whole way up towards the end. Now we just want about five fingers of a tail. I'm going to hold it here and let all the air out. And then tie it just about a finger up above the inflated part. And then take it around, bend it around like this, like a little jelly bean or kidney bean and start squeezing it. Just hold it, fold it like this and squeeze it. You can use two hands, it might be easier. That looks pretty good. And now give yourself a little bit of room, like cut up about a finger up above the knot and take the knot and wrap it into whatever side you want Peppa's tail. I'm gonna put it over here on the left. Just wrap it around. You don't even need to tie it. Right like that. To put on Peppa's face, you wanna put an eye right about a little bit diagonal to this pinch twist. We're just gonna put a circle now Peppa's head looks like a hair dryer. And both of Peppa's eyes are on one side of, of the face. So you draw the next circle up just a little bit higher. And I, I'm using a white edding marker for this. For the mouth, you wanna go down here a little bit and make like a black curve. And then scoop it down a little bit to look sort of like a black banana and fill that in. We're gonna do the mouth while the eyes dry because it takes a little bit longer for that ending marker to dry than a Sharpie. Now take a red or a dark pink marker and let's go around the mouth. And then come over here on the nose and draw a circle right over here and then draw two pink circles or red circles <laughs> right in the center, like that. And now we're ready to outline the eyes. So go around the white circles. Now take a black Sharpie, your eyes should be dry now. And we're gonna put two black circles right in the center of these white circles. To finish things off, you can put a little swirly on Peppa's tail. It just kind of adds a little bit of character. And here is your Peppa Pig. If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe and I'll keep them coming to you every Thursday. Happy twisting guys, until the next video.